Easy Worship 7 has been out for a very long time now and a lot of people still stick with the Easy Worship 9 because it's lighter and also it's easy to use as well. But one of the limitations of the Easy Worship 9 is it does not have the NDI functionality on it. Now it's only Easy Worship 7 that has the NDI functionality meaning you can link the Easy Worship 7 and VMI so OBS wirelessly using the NDI features. But for the Easy Worship 9, you won't be able to do that. If you have the Easy Worship 9 and your VMI so OBS on the same PC, let me show you how you could be able to link these two softwares together. I could bring your scriptures from the Easy Worship 9 and import it down to OBS or the VMI software. ahead and open the easy worship 9 currently i have my hair running on my pc now once the easy worship 9 is up already you have two left tab here you have one at the top left here this is the one and then you have the second one at the top right here now we are not making use of the one at the top right we are making use of the one at the top left beside the songs and profile in front of it now click on the left here then go over to options click on the options again and from here over to generous on the general tab here look down you're going to see select output monitor on the select output monitor here you see the output monitor click on that and you're going to see the primary monitor the custom position and if you have hdmi plugged in on your system you're also going to see the secondary monitor and because we want to use this easy worship 9 and the vmis and obs all in one pc you're going to select the custom position remember it does not have the ndi functionality like i mentioned before Click on the custom position here and once you're done click on ok what this does is it's going to create a smaller screen on your pc let me just bring this back again click on the live tab here and pop in any scripture i want to use if i minimize this you see here the custom position it's going to create a smaller screen on your pc where the scriptures will be projected to you can see here so if you have a hdmi plug in your pc you're going to see the secondary monitor yeah, you will be able to project the Bible to your your projector, your your TVs, or whichever way you're projecting the scriptures to or the songs to. All right. And if you put it on primary position, it's going to cover your laptop screen. And since we put it on custom position, that is why it created the smaller screen here at the top of the screen. You can see right there. Open the OBS software now. On the OBS software, on the sources tab here, click on the plus sign here, which is the add button. Click on that and then go over to window caption. See? Click on the window caption here and let's name this Bible 9. Click on OK. And on the windows, you're going to see the Easy Worship 9 here, the default profile. Click on that and you're also going to see the live output. Now, before you'll be able to see this live output here, make sure that this live button here at the top right is on. On. if not you're not going to see it now once it's already turned on you should be able to see that's easy worship live output here and once you selected that just go ahead and click on ok this is it here on a smaller screen not drag it to any size or any length you want it to fit in on your screen choose it just you want to fill it well if you want it to fit in on the screen just drag it if you want to reduce it you can just place it anywhere you want it to be on that's it and this is how it looks like and if you also want to do the same thing with vmis let's go ahead and delete this and pop in vmis once the vmis software is up already click on the add inputs here see that at the bottom left here click on the add input and from here go over to ndi and desktop capture here and then go over to look at the sub caption here you should be able to see the live output here this is it here now click on the live output this is what you're going to see on the screen here from the live output. Now, whatever changes you are making on your Easy Worship software will also display on VMIS as well. You can see here, it will also display on VMIS as well. And this is how to use the Easy Worship 9 VMIS and OBS in the same PC. If you find the video helpful, remember like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to this YouTube channel and see you on the next one.